Well, Tim, I'm um, thinking Auckland, I guess today's news that Auckland might be getting an A-League team must be um, pretty exciting. Yeah, I think it's uh, actually fantastic for, I think, New Zealand football as a whole. Um, it gives more opportunity to more Kiwi players, and I think that's only a, a fantastic thing for Sydney New Zealand football, so it's a, an exciting time. Is it a good thing for the Phoenix as well, do you think? Um, I think it's tough to have two teams in New Zealand. Um, obviously, we're a small country, but you know, I think then it puts emphasis on things like the Phoenix Academy um, and the Phoenix as a club to, to make sure they're doing all the right things possible to make an environment where people want to come down and play for the Phoenix. So, look, I think they'll see it as a good challenge. And then at the end of the day, as I said before, it's fantastic because it's giving more Kiwi kids an opportunity to play pro footy. Yeah, because when you came back to New Zealand from, from the UK, were you at a point where you either couldn't get a look in at the Phoenix and were thinking like oh, if only Auckland had a, had a team or even just growing up in Auckland did you think you know it'd be great if we had a team in, in our hometown? Oh, I mean obviously 100% I'd love to um, play where I grew up and where my friends and family are but look that wasn't the case at the time and at that point in my career I was just looking to try to get back into pro footy. Yeah because I just wonder from the perspective of say if the Phoenix don't sign a player and it's you know maybe one coach's opinion if there was another A-League team or that's another chance for a player like did you ever have that throughout your career where you know you weren't getting that look in at the Phoenix where like a second team could have helped? Well yeah I think so probably um, look sports a sports an opinionated thing right um, one person might believe they played well one day other person might think differently um, that's probably the beauty of sport you know people can have their opinions about um, players and things like that but look I think the main thing I guess as a player you just got to try to back yourself as much as possible believe you are good enough to do that and yeah continue on. Yeah and I guess it's kind of hard to say um, now and the two teams might be rivals in the future but like as an Auckland team you know something you would want to play for just um, having Look that's that's in the future that's not something I'm worried about I'm contracted at the Phoenix for the next two years and hopefully um, well this year obviously is the main focus and you know trying to push the finals. Yeah, and um, Oscar Zabata hasn't travelled with the team, but um, obviously said before that he's you know, got another 24 hours for, for the baby to arrive. Um, will he be a big loss if he, he can't play against that one? Yeah, I mean, his, his record, his goal-scoring record speaks for itself, so it's something um, you know, we've relied on probably this season a lot, is when in games we haven't been our best, he's been able to nick a goal here and there, and that's you know, the main thing in football is to try and score goals. So he's been fantastic for us. If he's not there, it's a big loss, but we've got a great squad and we've got players coming in to do the job for him. Yeah, and I guess it's probably pretty special for him to, to be here for, for, for the birth as well, so totally understand the reasons. Yeah, 100%. I think that's it's not even a question to debate around um, whether he should be here or not. So, yeah, wish him and his partner all the best. How do you think the rivalry... You know, when Auckland gets a team, what's the rivalry going to be like between Wellington and Auckland? I hope it's big, you know. Um, I think that's only fantastic for football in New Zealand. You know, I hope there's a bit of attention. I hope that creates a bit of atmosphere. I hope people get behind the Auckland team um, like they do the Phoenix and Yellow Fever, a fantastic support group. So, yeah, as a, as a player, you want to play in those games that mean a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I think that it's going to be fantastic. And look, yeah, hopefully it is a big rivalry. Yeah, I mean... We don't know what it's going to look like yet, but a team like Auckland City has been talked about. Is that something that you think would be a good fit um, to move into the A-League? Yeah, of course. I, that's all the ins and outs of that stuff is not my job. Um, I'm here to play football. So, look, I think Auckland City have done fantastically well with uh, the, uh, I guess, what they've had over the last few years, and they've been successful. And you know, I think they probably know what it takes to give it a shot. Um, but look, that's as I, as I said before, it's. Not my worry about that, um, but I'm sure whoever goes into that position will do the best job they can. Is it strange, do you think, that New Zealand's biggest city hasn't had a football team for 15 years now? Yeah, probably a little bit. Um, I think also at the same time, <laughs> we're, we're not a footballing country. Um, we've, you know, the, the All Blacks and the Black Caps um, probably dominate the sport headlines and, and sport around New Zealand. So probably makes a little bit of sense, especially with um, obviously Knights and the, and the Kings um, having given it a try and probably not succeeded, people were probably a little bit wary about that, um, wanting to throw money into an Auckland team. But yeah, look, it's as I said before, it's just fantastic that there is going to be another team for a lot of young Kiwi footballers. Because do you feel there are a lot of Kiwi footballers out there that could be professionals but aren't at the moment because there is no team up there? Good question. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I think the the 
what I would say is probably the disparity or the what people believe there to be the difference between potentially like the A-League and other leagues around the world is actually smaller than people think. Um, I think we've shown that we can produce good players. Um, and I think, yeah, New Zealand, there's no reason why um, lots of young Kiwis can step up to the A-League and perform and do well and, yeah, and be a, a force, both teams, both here in Wellington and in Auckland. You also just played there on the weekend. What sort of support does the Phoenix get in Yeah, it's usually been fantastic, really. Um, but we showed up there uh, during COVID and got close to 20,000, I think. Um, not too sure of the exact numbers, but we've always gone there, always got great support. Um, we even had a promo down at the, the Spark, which was fantastic, and lots of kids and families came along and wanted to get um, photos and signatures with the players. So I think there is a massive market, I think, well, know for a fact that uh, football is one of the highest played play, uh, sports at grassroots level so there's a lot of kids out there playing it and so hopefully that breeds um, a bit of fan base up there.